Samsung Galaxy A12 vs. Infinix Hot 10 T Specs Comparison Samsung and Infinix both sell budget devices in Kenya like many other device makers. The Infinix Hot 10 T and Samsung Galaxy A12 is one of the myriads of choices available for anyone looking for a budget smartphone in Kenya. If you're considering purchasing either the Galaxy A12 or Infinix Hot 10 T, don't hit the buy button yet. Here's our Galaxy A12 vs. Infinix Hot 10 T head-to-head comparison to help you make the best choice. Display Samsung Galaxy A12 has a 6.5-inch PLS IPS display with 720p resolution. That puts the phone's PPI density at about 270. On the other hand, Infinix Hot 10 T has a larger 6.82-inch IPS panel with a similar resolution. For Infinix, the PPI density is 262 a little lesser than the A12 due to the relatively larger display. What makes the Infinix Hot 10 T stand out is the 90Hz refresh rate, which makes scrolling through the device a lot smoother. Memory and internal storage The A12 ships with up to 6GB of memory, while the Hot 10 T has 4GB. Note, however, that only the 4GB version of the A12 is widely available in Kenya. Both phones offer up to 128GB for internal usable storage, which is plenty of space to store your personal files. You can, however, still increase storage via a micro SD card on both. Camera. Cameras are one of the top things you should consider while purchasing a smartphone. But while that is true, it's also imperative to check your expectations as the low price segment doesn't offer any good camera lenses. Infinix Hot 10T has a 48MP primary camera, a 2MP depth sensor, and an AI lens. It has a single 8MP lens on the front. The Galaxy A12 packs 4 on the back, a 48MP, f, 2.0, wide camera with AF aided by a 5MP, f, 2.2 ultra-wide, 2MP, f, 2.4 macro camera, and a 2MP, f, 2.4 depth sensor. On the front is a single 8MP camera with an f, 2.2 aperture. For cameras, the Galaxy A12 offers a better and more versatile setup than the Hot 10T. Processor Infinix runs MediaTek Helio G70, while the Galaxy A12 has the Helio P35, which, according to benchmarks, is relatively less powerful. But in day-to-day -day usage, benchmarks really don't matter that much, especially if the range is not significant. Battery The amount of battery capacity matters. Both phones pack a no-joke 5000 mAh battery. With its large battery, Samsung Galaxy A12 has 15W fast charging support. On the other hand, Infinix Hot 10T doesn't include fast charging, a bummer if you ask me, despite including such a large battery. Price Infinix Hot 10T goes for 17,499 Kenyan shillings and 15,499 Kenyan shillings for 4 128ths of a gigabyte and 4 64ths of a gigabyte, respectively. Samsung Galaxy A12, on the other hand, starts at 15,399 Kenyan shillings, 4 64ths of a gigabyte. The 128 gigabytes version sells at about 18,000 Kenyan shillings. Other features besides the features mentioned above, each phone also packs some extra perks you should keep in mind. The Galaxy A12, for instance, has Android 10, with Android 11 coming soon. And with Samsung's recent improvement in Matters software updates, you can be certain it will update the phone for quite some time. The A12 has a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, Bluetooth 5.0, glass front, plastic back, and USB Type-C 2.0 port. Infinix Hot 10 TA fingerprint sensor on the rear, Android 11 out of the box, glass front, plastic back, Bluetooth, and a micro USB 2.0 port. Both phones have a water drop notch housing the selfie camera. On colorways, Samsung Galaxy A12 sells in red, blue, and black while Infinix Hot 10 T is available in black, purple, Mirandi green, heart of ocean. Samsung Galaxy A12 vs. Infinix Hot 10T. Who wins? The only advantage the Infinix has over the Galaxy A12 is its 90Hz display refresh rate. Infinix Hot 10T lacks fast charging, making it hard to charge the phone, 
It takes over 3 hours to fill this massive battery. Infinix Hot 10T also lacks a more modern USB Type-C port, in 2021. The camera setup is less versatile as well, just looking at the specs sheet. But if a high refresh rate is important, above all else, go for the Hot 10T. If not, give that 90Hz a pass and go for the slightly better Galaxy A12, 